Welcome back to the channel. In this video, Michael Saylor shares his thoughts on the current market situation. Saylor also shares a lot of other information, including when he believes Bitcoin will bounce back. I don't regret it. Uh, we've got $2.8 billion worth of Bitcoin on our balance sheet right now, and we feel like we're positioned well for when uh, the markets turn around. And our only other choice would be to give all the capital back to the shareholders, in which case we would have nothing and we would be struggling uh, to get by without any assets. OK, how about this? Is cash still trash? Yeah, I mean, the money supply has expanded by 41 percent uh, since January 1st of 2020 when we went into this kind of covid crisis. And we know that scarce, desirable assets are getting bid up in price. I mean, everybody wants to buy Rolex watches. They're buying luxury real estate. They're buying everything they get their hands on, creating shortages. So, you know, we, we are an institution. We have to take a 10-year view. And the only thing that's for sure is if we hold cash over a decade, we're going to have a negative real yield. The only question is how much. So we have to invest in something. And uh, we've chosen as a business strategy to fo focus on what we believe is the most exciting investment idea because it's a digital commodity that's absolutely scarce and only getting technically better every year. So are you considering buying more Bitcoin at these prices? I mean, is Bitcoin on sale? Yeah, I, th I think it is on sale. Um, I, I, you know, the, the number that I look at to figure out uh, sort of the a surrogate for the book value of Bitcoin is the four year simple moving average because it trades billions of dollars a day. And so after 1400 days of billions of dollars a day, that number is twenty one thousand seven hundred. Uh, Bitcoin touched that uh, in the March 2020, 2020 crisis. It touched it around 2017. It's touching it right now. Generally, it trades above there. You know, our strategy is uh, we're going to acquire Bitcoin with our free cash flows from time to time. So we're kind of dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and we're going to hold the Bitcoin for the long term. And uh, and so it wouldn't really matter whether the price was 10% more or 20% more or 50% more, uh, we're just going to progressively acquire more Bitcoin uh, because that's our strategy. But so you it, you are know, in terms keep of it being more. for sale, it, yeah, I mean, it's like not a bad price and we will keep buying more. We don't panic. We have a, we have a strategy. <laughs> we're not traders. If your time horizon is less than four years, you're sort of a trader. If it's in the months, you're definitely a trader. I'm not an expert trader. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know where the market's going to go week by week, month by month. Uh, if your time horizon is more than four years, you're an investor. And when your time horizon is 10 years, you're kind of a saver. So we have a very long term 10 year time horizon. And our view is over the 10 years, uh, Bitcoin's going to be a good idea and it's just going to keep accreting in value. Uh, but, you know, I can't tell you whether it'll, it'll go down a bit here and there. It's in the near term, Emily, it trades like a high beta risk asset and there's no denying that. Over the long term, we believe it's a low risk store of value asset. There's about 10 things that have to happen uh, over the next decade to make it a better asset. And we kind of know what those 10 things are. And so we're waiting and, uh, and biding our time. And we think that it's going to improve uh, as an asset class over time. And we're not in a hurry. So what do you see in the let's talk t take this 10 year horizon for example we've seen what the fed is doing with rate hikes there's all of this concern we're heading into a recession whether it's a capital r or a lowercase r recession what do you see on the road ahead and how is that impacting your strategy to you know just buy more and hold yeah so let's take the 10 sources of my pain um, there's no wash trading rules. So people can they, they can sell their Bitcoin and buy it back and harvest the tax gain. And that's not the same with Apple. So if that gets fixed by the House Ways and Means Committee, that's a big plus for the asset. There's 520 unregistered crypto exchanges offering 20x leverage. That's a negative for the asset class. As they get regulated, and I expect they will, and as the 20x leverage disappears, that'll be a positive. 
There's 19,000 unregistered securities in the crypto industry cross collateralized against Bitcoin. As as those things have to uh, have to get eliminated or they have to convert them into publicly traded instruments, that's going to decrease the volatility. There'll be a big shakeout. The wildcat banks like the, you know, the Terras and Lunas and Celsius, they actually create massive volatility. And as they get regulated and they disappear and they grow up and become institutionalized banks, uh, the asset class will mature. There's a lot of ignorance and fear. People think crypto is the same as Bitcoin. Uh, if they think that, that means they don't understand either of those two things. We don't have a stable coin, Emily, uh, like UST isn't a stable coin. Tether is an opaque uh, security no one understands. If we ever have an FDIC-issued stable coin or something from a public uh, entity that's endorsed by the SEC, that's going to be very bullish for the industry. There's no spot ETF. Uh, I think it's only a matter of time before there is one approved. That'll be very bullish for the industry. The FASB accounting is detrimental. The lack of FDIC guidance makes it difficult, if not impossible, for banks to, to hold this stuff. We're waiting right. for clear SEC, CFTC guidance. And those 10 things, they're going to get cured over the next decade. They're just not going to get cured over the next 10 weeks. I think the Bitcoin's been held back by its association with the, with the anything goes crypto industry. And as that gets regulated, then that's going to actually create a green light for public institutions and public companies to get much more heavily involved in Bitcoin and is going to catalyze the next leg of the bull run. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time. They get your life. You are not even in a rat race. You're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave. You forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marcus Dan.